This week's focus is on visual literacy. I won't spend a lot of time dissecting how visual literacy and information literacy tie together. I think that the chapter in the Information Literacy User's Guide does that pretty well, but I will introduce you to Creative Commons licensing and where to find images. I do want to highlight a quote from the book that I think succinctly encapsulates some of the challenges with visuals and visual literacy, and that is, Using visual imagery to communicate a specific message is not simply a matter of a clear substitution of images for words, but is instead a complex process with no agreed upon rules. Standards of image use and interpretation vary by discipline and there is no single alphabet or grammar. This quote pretty clearly states that visual literacy is a bit more complicated and nuanced than other types of literacy. While everything from articles to art is subject to your own experiences and understanding, Images lack the articulation that is afforded to us with text. Images lack the ability to define concepts and terms, thus limiting our shared understanding and our shared definitions. Images can also be challenging because it's not always clear who the author of the image is. This is becoming overwhelmingly true because of the internet. Again, our ability to copy materials can be as simple as two clicks almost instantaneous, especially if you think about the challenges of copy, copying images and copying materials 20 years ago, 40 years ago, 100 years ago, and beyond. Furthermore, images have lots of restrictions placed on copying them. You can't just cite where you found an image in your work and expect that to be acceptable. It's often a lot more complicated than that. Um, some of the more extreme scenarios being you seeking permission and paying a fee to reuse this work. Sometimes these fees can also be very high, uh, upwards of 400 or more dollars for a single image, depending on how long you plan to use that image. So instead of Diving into the nuances related to copyright and images, I'm instead going to focus on the licensing of images and works and how this will really facilitate your ability to reuse other people's work. One of the predominant licensing structures is Creative Commons. Creative Commons is a nonprofit organization that helps people explicitly state how they will share what they've created. They offer straightforward and easy to use copyright licenses to provide a standardized way to give the public permission to share and use creative work. These licenses work alongside copyright, which as we've discussed previously, you have copyright over anything you make tangible as long as you don't sign those rights away. So the Creative Commons license doesn't replace copyright, it instead works with copyright to help you and other creators control your work, especially in the wilderness that is the internet. Creative Commons offers several licenses. There are five concepts associated with Creative Commons licensing that can be combined in different ways, producing seven distinct licenses. They've also created handy images to help you figure out what each license does. So the CC license, this is the standard Creative Commons logo. I'm not actually counting this one as one of our concepts since it's mostly a visual cue so that you know you're looking at something that is affiliated with Creative Commons, but you're looking at that CC. BY, the BY stands for attribution. This license allows for others to distribute, remix, tweak, and build upon your work as long as you are credited for the original creation. SA stands for share alike. Others are free to remix, tweak, and build upon your work, even for commercial purposes, as long as they credit you and license their new work under identical terms. For example, if you took a picture, posted it with a CC BY SA license, and someone else liked your picture but wanted to modify it for a promotional display, they're totally allowed to do that as long as their new work is also licensed CC BY SA with you credited. ND stands for no derivatives. This means that work can be redistributed commercially and non-commercially as long as it is used unchanged and in whole with credit to you. 
and C stands for non-commercial. This allows others to remix, build upon, or tweak your work non-commercially. New works must also acknowledge you and be non-commercial, but they don't have to license their derivative works with the same terms. So they're allowed to change the licensing for the new derivatives of your work. The zero, if you see CC zero, that is putting something in the public domain. You don't combine a public domain license with anything else since that's counter to the definition of it being in the public domain. This is a very permissive license that reaps the benefits of openness at the expense of attribution. From these distinct categories, you get several licenses. So these can be combined in different ways to produce distinct licenses which clearly articulate how you would like your work reused, redistributed, or tweaked. One drawback of these licenses is in how they combine. So I will say this is probably a little bit above and beyond what you'll need to know for most of your work, but keep it in mind. So again, one drawback is how these licenses combine with one another. For example, say someone is putting together a report and would like to use images licensed with the CCBY, CCBY SA, and CCBY ND SA. Theoretically, the new work would need to be licensed entirely CCBY ND SA, which makes those images that were originally CCBY more restrictive in their reuse, which is not their original intent. You can always go back to the original image, but having this extra layer can complicate reuse. So what resources are available to help you find these images? I find Flickr to be the easiest. It has a very clear method of searching for images by their licenses. Plus, the license is clearly stated on each image page on Flickr, as is all of the contextual information you'll need to cite or reuse the information or that image. Pay attention to the reuse information too. Remember, even on Flickr, there are some folks who don't want to share their images, so make sure you filter those out. Google also has an option to search for images with licenses, but I find that it's harder to find the contextual information you need to really cite or ethically reuse an image. It's up to you if you want to do some digging, but with Google, it's a little bit more challenging. Finally, there are library databases available to help you search for images. The challenge with these image-based databases is that just because the libraries pay for subscription and just because you have access to these amazing databases, you aren't automatically granted the ability to freely reuse an image. Again, look for licensing and reuse. For example, in Art Store, they have a lengthy terms and conditions page, but it does state that for educational purposes, you can reuse images. Again, you'll need to cite them, but you are able to reuse them. So this means if you wanted to use an image from Art Store in one of your papers for a class at UMass, you were able to do so. However, this permission does not extend to something like posting an image to Wikipedia. Art Store explicitly states that you cannot upload content to an unrestricted website like Wikipedia. That's all on visual literacy. I hope you have a better understanding of the different types of Creative Commons licenses, the importance of your own due diligence in image credit and permissions, have a better understanding of the challenges associated with using and reusing images, and you have a good idea of where to search for images. Thanks for watching and happy searching!